Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I wanna come on here to make a quick little video. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have been going off of here for I think about two months and today is the day that I finally got like a little spark to upload a video. So I'm gonna upload this video and let you guys know, based on the title, you understand where I have been at. So for anybody who is new to my channel, who don't know me outside of YouTube, I will be the first to tell you that my goal has been home ownership for the past two to four years owning a home being able to have somewhere where it's my space it's just me um yeah nobody can put me out of course unless i don't you know make a payment or something but it's my rules i don't have like a landlord or it's just mine this has been my desire for a very long time and i have been cultivating my life to ensure that I accomplish this. I had it said that by by next year, um, by the time I turned the next age, okay, I wanted to own a house, but it happened this year. And you guys, I couldn't be more happier. I am so happy. Um, I've been here for a little while now. You guys are late to the party, but um, I've just been taking time to myself. <clears throat> to focus on my house, getting my house together, getting it to my humble abode where when I come home from work or when I come home from the gym, I can just be at peace, at ease, and just be happy and just be like, wow, every day I come home, I'm like, wow, like this is all me. I really did this myself, no help, no co-borrower, no co-signer, co -signer, just me, myself, and I. So... Um, initially when I made this video, I was like, how am I going to preface this? I don't want to make it long. I just kind of want to update and just chat. So, um, these are a few things that I did to become a homeowner before the age of 30 and before my mid twenties. So, um, some things that I did was I made sure to remain disciplined along this process. You guys, I still went out, had fun. I still went to restaurants. I still, um, you know, let's see what some other things I would do. Um, pay for my gym membership. I still dated, you know, had relationships. But I always kept at the forefront of my mind my goal, my big goal. I always remained disciplined. I always prioritized my financial stability. Um, every paycheck that I get after I pay my bills, I pay myself. Myself, my savings was considered a bill. So I would give myself around $100 um, a week. And obviously I really didn't even need that much, but I would give myself about $100 a week to just spend on miscellaneous stuff, like little stupid stuff. Like, I don't know, little cute little hair bows, maybe some press on nails, um, groceries. Like I would give myself a hundred dollars a week to just do the miscellaneous little stuff. And then the rest would have to go into either bills or savings. No if, ands, and buts about it. Always never bending on it. My savings account was always off limits. I treated my savings account and I still do. The only reason I went into my savings account this time around was to have the closing cost for my house, which was my goal in the first place. So you have to treat your savings account like it is just untouchable. No matter what you go through, no matter what it is, you cannot touch your savings account. The only exception is an emergency. An emergency is not, oh my gosh, I need to go see my man. That's not an emergency. An emergency is, oh my gosh, I forgot to give so-and-so a birthday present. That's not an emergency. An emergency is not, oh my gosh, I really need this outfit because I'm trying to go to the club or I'm trying to go to somebody's wedding, so I really need this outfit. That's not an emergency. An emergency is literally 
you're sick, it's a life or death situation. If it's not that, you do not touch that savings account. You only put in that savings account which you can afford to go without. So that's what I did for me. I'm not gonna tell you that number because I don't want people all up in my business, but let's just say it sufficed me. It got me where I needed to be. So I kept that formula and I never wavered away from it. So um, just being aware of the housing market, learning a lot about the housing market, about interest rates, about um, credit, making sure your credit is as high as you can get it before you even start this process. When I started this home buying process, my credit score was 802. The lowest, because we get three, you get your TransUnion, your Equifax, and your Experian. So my highest one was 802 and my lowest one was 797. So you have to build that credit score. This is going to help you during the home buying process. This is going to better your odds. It looks better to banks or whomever you go to, whether it's a credit union, a bank, whatever, it's going to look better the higher your credit score. It's just gonna look good on paper. So your credit score, uh, making sure you have the funds, which is your savings account, to come to closing with. Making sure once you get into the house that you have funds to furnish your house, that you have funds to take care of security. Um, if you're someone who works from home, maybe, to take care of Wi-Fi, getting Wi-Fi in your home. For me, I don't work from home, so I don't have Wi-Fi, and I probably will never get it. I have a mobile hotspot on my phone that I pay for every month. So why would I need Wi-Fi? That's just me. But you want to make sure you budget before you get into this process so it can be as easy as possible. My home buying experience was so beautiful, so easy. The only, the most difficult part was finding the house that I feel like I could call home. Finding a good neighborhood, finding a good area that you could feel safe at. You don't want to invest your money and invest your time into a property that you won't even feel safe with sitting outside on your porch. I happen to be extremely lucky. Excuse me, I like the area. I have the sweetest, loveliest neighbor in the world. And it's just amazing for me. Everything is good. The bedrooms, the size of the house, it's just me. It is perfect. Um, let's just, let's say, let's see if there's anything else that I wanted to cover. But, you know, just remaining disciplined. Um, I would always say, like, there's nobody on this earth that can get between my goals that I actually desire for myself. Nobody on this earth. It's not a relationship. It's not a man. It's not a woman. It's not a thing. It's nothing that's going to get in the way of me and a goal that I actually set forward in my mind. It's going to get done. And it's going to get done in the time that I set forward to get done. The only way around that is if the most high, the higher power, whoever you believe in, if there is some type of intervention, maybe I'm sick. Maybe I get into an accident, God forbid, you know, knock on wood. But that's the only thing. But None of those things are factors. Nothing was going to get in my way of accomplishing this for myself. I did it and now my goal is to pay it off in about eight years, maybe sooner. Who knows what blessings may may flow in, but according to my current situation, it is a 30 year long, but I want to pay it off in about eight years. So I'm doing that by making extra uh payments towards my principal each month. As much money as I can, that play around money, that spend money that I would usually have, yeah, that's going towards my house. Now, it may be a month that I'm like, hey, I really wanna play. I've been doing my thing, putting it towards this house for the longest. I wanna play, I wanna do something for myself, and I wanna do it up and do it big. Then I might skip that month, but generally speaking, my schedule is every month I'm putting more towards my principal so that I can pay this house off as soon as possible. Once I pay this house off, I'm aiming, um, well, if I say that, then my age will be evident, but let's just say I'm aiming to have this house paid off before I enter my 40s. So I wanna be comfortable, house paid off, the only thing I'm worried about is property taxes and utilities. Um, 
but yeah you guys i just wanted to make this quick video um to kind of give you guys an update on where i've been what i've been doing you guys if i'm gone for a little minute it's because i'm making big moves and that's exactly what i did um i am hoping to start back making videos i just have to find this mojo and find something that i really really care about because you guys i have been so happy um things have not been perfect but I have been so happy. Um, my house, first and foremost, my health. Um, honey, the body, get into the body, okay? Um, and the loveliest, sweetest, amazing, beautiful man entered my life. And I'm almost certain that this is gonna be my husband. So your girl have been ducked off and just living life. But um, if you guys have any questions about home ownership, about how to get started what to do and i didn't cover it in this video then leave a comment and i'll be happy to respond back but i think i pretty much scratched the surface stay focused stay disciplined save your money save your money save your money um build your credit build your credit build your credit have enough money for your closing costs have enough money to buy down your interest rate if it comes down to it just have money have that safety bank that safety wallet whatever you want to call it so that you're good it makes everything easier when you're not struggling when you're not having to pinch for pennies when you're financially comfortable so i will catch you guys on my next video thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next one bye thumbnail <laughs> bye